Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, The Mighty Bjorn, and today for you I have a Gunner, Gunner Heat PC guide, and I am going to be going over how to use the gunnery systems of the M60 A3 TTS. But really quick, let's do some shameless plugins while I drive up to the tank range. First, check out their Patreon, and you check out their website. Links in the video description below. They always need, they obviously need support. More support, the better. The more development that can be put into the game, things like that. It is a five man development team. And honestly, they are doing some really amazing work with how this is going. Um, next thing is, gonna be doing some other Gunner Heat PC guide videos as well as just Gunner Heat PC videos in general. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that, and it does support me as a youtuber but anyway let's dive on in here we are at the tank range and essentially i'm just going to show you the very basics of using the m60 a3 tts first thing is is i am using sabo ammunition there is sabo there is heat for this for the 105 millimeter main gun on this tank and it does actually have a fire control system. It, it has a very simple rudimentary uh, ballistics computer. And if you're not paying attention and not coherent of what you're doing, it is easy to screw up and make yourself miss shots because of what you did. Easy for operator error. Why is that? Well, this does have a laser rangefinder system which is great for engaging targets sitting still, and it is great for engaging moving targets. The trick of how it works is, is when engaging movie tar moving targets, the there's a sensor system that judges how fast you are traversing your turret. And what that does is it inputs information into the fire control system. From there, the fire control system, when you laser target by hitting E, that's default uh, will automatically adjust your optic and your gun to the position it needs to be in to fire. However, if you are shooting at a still target and traversing your turret and you hit E right after you stop traversing your turret, it will still detect your turret as if it was moving. It basically holds that information for a few seconds until a few seconds after you stop traversing your turret. Now I'm just showing here that the gunner site does not actually update. This is something that's more or less tied into a future video with the uh, M1 Abrams because the gunnery site and ballistics computer constantly updates as long as you're holding the palm switches. That is not the case here for the M60A3. Next thing I want to point out with the M60A3 is you really don't want to fire on the move with the M60A3. Now that being said, it can actually engage targets while moving. It does actually have a gun stabilizer, but here's the trick to that, the caveat to that. The fire control system and the lays all that stuff is not tied into the automotive of the M60 A3. So the Bliss's computer is not detecting the movement of your vehicle itself. It's only detecting the movement of your turret. So it's great for engaging targets on the uh, that are moving, but it's not great for engaging targets while you're on the move. Now, simple, subtle movements won't really throw your gunnery off too much, which is absolutely fine. It basically, it allows you to make minor adjustments from haul down to non haul down. Now I'm showing you the thermal here. The thermal works great. All you have to do to toggle the uh, thermal vision is hit T, it's T by default. And the nice thing about thermal vision is it can be used during the day as well as night because it's used to detect heat. The target cheese here is giving off a lot of heat because the sun has been beating on it. So it shows up really good in my optic and even the uh, destroyed T-55s are showing up fairly well in the optic itself, even though it's not showing up as well 
as the target cheese. Now, next thing about lead is if you have a target that suddenly stops, you can dump the lead by holding control and then tapping E. Or, you know what I normally do? Wait about two seconds and then tap my E key again. Uh, the other thing you can also do, uh, the other thing you can also do too, is when you're lasing a target that was moving and suddenly stops, just wait a second or wait about two seconds, three seconds, and then laser your target and fire. Now, what I'm showing here is the coaxial does work on the M60A3. That being said, there's the optic is not in the game yet to really use the m 683 3s coaxial, but you can change to the coaxial by hitting the bracket key, and essentially the best thing you can do is just kind of guess and follow the tracers, which all you got to do is fire, fire about a 5 to 10 round burst, watch the tracers fly, watch where they land, and adjust. That's how you typically do it without a gunnery sight anyway. There's really not much else to cover here with the M60A3 TTS. I just wanted to show you all this stuff. The thing to understand with the M60A3 is that the fire control system was actually retrofitted to the tank. It wasn't originally designed with the fire control system that it had, which is why it's not tied into the automotive components of the M60A3, which doesn't allow the vehicle to do so well when firing on the move. Also, it doesn't have the constant updating that the M1 Abrams has, which, as I said, that ties into a future video that I'm going to be doing here very soon when I do my gunnery guide for the M1 IP. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you found the guide useful and learned something about the M60A3. And have yourself a wonderful week.